Okay, welcome to Year 8 Science Online with Henny van Vieren. Hello Year 8s, welcome back to another lesson on astronomy. Um, today we're just going to do a quick lesson. Um, we're going to look at our orbit around the Sun and what it actually means for us. So without further ado, let's jump back into the presentation. So um, yesterday we talked about what a day is and um, and we said that a day is one rotation of the earth around its own axis okay and we said the sun doesn't move um, it's actually not correct to say it's sunrise we're basically coming into the light and you can see there goes New Zealand into the darkness um, so one rotation is one uh, one rotation is one day um, and again as I said to say you can see here's the sun and basically you're turning into the light. So the terminator line, that's where that day and night basically as the earth turns that's where the sun reaches. So this line right over there that's dusk, whether that's in the morning or whether that's in the evening, um, the terminator line and it can be viewed from space. Again I showed you this um, little video um, that I made, just just want to see if it plays this time. Okay so just for interest sake, this is a website that I love to visit. It's called Flight Radar, and at any time you can see which planes are flying over you and so forth. Closest plane to us at the moment there is in New Zealand flying to Tonga. And this one is Singapore, flying from Auckland to Singapore. And this one is going to Sydney. And there's a little one which is probably a private plane from Nelson to somewhere. And sometimes when the rescue helicopters come over, you can see them too. So why am I showing you this? The main reason I'm showing you this is... Oh, there's a helicopter. I love helicopters. Where did it go now? Hello? Okay. Um, anyways, the reason why I'm showing you this is because it actually visualizes really nicely day and night. Now, if you look at this picture, you will see that, yes, there's a lot of aeroplanes in the air, I understand that. If you look across North America, that is crazy. But, um, and they are supposed to be in lockdown, so just look at that. But anyway, where do we have at the moment? You can see that where it's dark, it's night, so over Africa and Europe. And um, as it gets lighter, it is... Um, can see the shades change so it's becoming darker and darker over over Brazil at the moment and Australia Perth is almost waking up and so forth so um, because the earth is turning currently the Sun is shining on this part of the earth okay now remember that's Africa and this is Africa because we're looking at a round thing that's currently flattened out so this is the side that's facing the Sun and this is the side that's facing away. Okay. Now if you look at Antarctica down here, because it's our closer to our winter time, that's why it stays dark here for most of the time. Even when it's daylight, you can see that it remains relatively dark. Whereas if you look up in the North Pole, you will see that it remains light because it is summer, going on to summer in the North Pole. Okay, or Antarctica. Not Antarctica, but the Arctic region. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, as I say, this is quite an interesting... Um, I love when uh, an aeroplane flies over, then I just look up who it is and where they're going, where they're coming from. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for this little video. Speak to you later. Okay, so what's the difference between an orbit and a rotation? Now, a rotation is the Earth spinning around its own axis. Okay, it's interesting to note that the Earth is tilted at about um, 23 and a half degrees. Or I need to check that up, and make sure that it. I think this is incorrect, um, but the point is it is tilted. Okay, and um, it means that part of us. This actually brings us our seasons. But as it's spinning on its own axis, it is one planetary day. So Jupiter spinning on its own axis is going to be one day, and so forth. 
An orbit is actually the time it takes for us to go around the sun, not around our own axis. If you look closely into that picture there, you will see that the little Earth is rotating around its own axis all the time and then also rotating around the sun. Look at Jupiter, you can see it nicely. Look, you can see it is changing its color a bit there because it's rotating all the time. Okay. So that is one year. That is 365 days. 365 and a quarter of a day, actually. But yeah, so this is actually our orbit around the sun. And you can see, I told you earlier that it was slanted. And when it is winter time in the southern hemisphere, because of this angle, you can see there that the southern hemisphere is further away from the sun than the northern hemisphere. Okay. And that actually means, in this case as well, that the Southern Hemisphere is going into winter, simply because it's further away. Northern Hemisphere now has summer, and that's in June. But when is our hottest months? We're looking at December, January. Look, we are now, as I, if you look at that angle, the Southern Hemisphere is closer to the sun. Alrighty. Um, we said a rotation is one axis, that's a planetary day. Orbit is one round trip around the sun. Okay, and that is a, in the case of a planet going around the sun, that is a year. In case of a moon going around a planet on Earth, we call that a month or a month. Okay, and that's 29 and a half days. So currently the Earth is spinning. You are physically sitting here and we're spinning on this ball at 1,650 kilometers per hour. So we are hurtling towards nighttime at 1,650 1, kilometers an hour. Isn't that crazy? Okay, but we are not only spinning at that speed, we're also flying through space around the sun in our orbit. So take a guess what that is. It's a huge number. We Okay, it's 107,000 kilometers every hour. That is huge. Okay, so we talked about this yesterday. And then we talked about the length of days. Mercury, one rotation or one Mercury day is 58 Earth days. One day on Venus is 243 days. It only turns at six and a half kilometers an hour. You can walk faster than that. You can walk or run faster than Venus actually turns. We are going at 1,650. Crazy. Okay, so that's every 24 hours. Mars is almost the same as us, 24 hours and 37 minutes. Jupiter is really fast, 9 hours and 55. Saturn, 10 hours 33. Uranus, 17. And Neptune. Okay, and here's the mnemonic that I use. My very excellent mum just serves us noodles. I love noodles. Yummy. Okay, um, this is a, quite a good video. I'm going to put the link up that you can watch it. Um, and it's all about day and night. Okay, so now the orbit. It takes the orbit around the Earth, the Earth around the Sun. Okay. It goes for about 365, I said 365 and a quarter. That's why every fourth year is a leap year. Because a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter is a whole. So that is why every four years we have to have a leap year. 365 days. Okay. For the Earth to revolve around the Sun. Revolve is not the same as rotate, guys. Revolve is in its orbit. But can you see this is not a round circle? Okay, it's almost round, but it is what we call an ellipse. Ellipse is a fancy word for an oval. Okay, elliptical shape. But it's nearly circular. It does mean that at times we get closer and further away from the sun. But it's nearly circular. Now the Earth and the sun, we are 150 million kilometers apart. Crazy, 150 million kilometers apart. This is called an astronomical unit, and I only learned this today. It's an astronomical number. That number is actually 150 million. So next time somebody says something is astronomical, then you say, no, that's actually 150 million kilometers. I find that really funny. So we said, okay, this is a, a ruler from us to the 
to the Sun so how many distances from us to the Sun is it from us to Jupiter and then you can say six astronomical units or whatever it is okay so that's how it works now how long does it take for the light of the Sun to reach Earth okay it's eight minutes so since the light is emitted on the Sun eight minutes later we see it so that actually means that we see how the Sun looks eight minutes ago we will if the Sun turns out now we will only know eight minutes from now it's a little bit weird okay so you're looking back in time remember we are the eight Betelgeuses BG now that star is 642 light years away a light year is the distance how far light can travel in a year and that is 1,057 and another nine zeros after that kilometers it is a huge number I don't know if it's a trillion or a I don't even know how to pronounce that number but you can see it okay so um, that is a very far distance that's how far light goes in every year and that means that when we look up at Betelgeuse and Betelgeuse is sitting at 642.5 light years away it means we are looking at it how it was 642 years ago because that's when that light started to move towards Earth so is it still there it's crazy all of the stars when you look at them you're looking back in time our closest star is Alpha and Beta Centauri. They're about four, just over four light years. So we're looking at them, and yeah, the light reaching us is four years old. So that is how they looked four years ago. I really find that very cool. Anyway, so, but our distance from the sun is eight light minutes. So, in order, again, guys, one Earth year is one orbit around the sun. It is an elliptical shape that it fo follows, and our distance from the sun is an astronomical unit, which is 150 million. Okay, and that's it for today. I hope you guys are enjoying this um, section as much as I am, because I really love astronomy. Um, yeah, okay, we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Bye.